Um, a, a thing just popped up on your phone. You may need to turn notifications off. Okay. I have the new Google Messages app, you know, instead of Hangouts, because they're killing Hangouts. And yep. uh, I don't understand why they're killing Hangouts, but they are. When I use Google Messages, there's a Messages on the web site you can go to, and yeah. so I can, I can use my computer to do texts and everything. But when I do this thing, I turn my phone on to airplane mode and the messages on the web doesn't work without your phone being on and next to the computer. I'm deeply irritated by it because it means that I'm not gonna be able to text from my computer anymore to anybody I know who's not on an iPhone. Cause I use it, I use it as like text messaging because for the longest time it was my text messenger and now yeah I mean, that's, what, that's what i've been trying to do so like you know with with messages on the web it's over on that screen there right mm -hmm. that's just text but it doesn't work without the phone which is so stupid because like hangouts would just work i didn't need yeah. my phone near well they just recently got rid of the app for it for um mac so now it's a chrome extension only on mac but if the people that i'm texting aren't getting it because they are now on the messages app it's useless well they should they I don't understand they'll get it if you're using their phone number but not if you're using their gmail account I don't understand that. That makes zero sense to me. I've been using Hangouts since like 2000 and whatever. And it I first know. came out. It was, working it was working great because you could like chat while in Gmail. That was awesome. It was brilliant. Yeah. I don't know who, I don't know if you're watching Google, I have a bone to pick with you. But I'm still going to use Chrome Let's because it's harder to use our products. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, they got rid of Google Reader. I, I basically stopped reading blogs when Google Reader went away. Yeah. I used to read blogs. I don't anymore. I use Feedly now, which is pretty good actually. I tried other ones. I tried other ones that I didn't like it. There's so I just Google Reader that looks like Google Reader. Maybe um, I should look like look at that. I don't know. I'm just, I just don't read blogs anymore. Good job, Google, killing the blog industry. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Millennials. <laughs> Google, the ultimate millennial. Actually, I wonder if anyway. part, of Facebook's, part of Facebook's rise may be Google's, you know, murdering of RSS. <laughs> I think I I think that that was some of it because suddenly RSS was gone. Well, not gone, but much harder to access. And so then you had to like follow the bloggers on Facebook. I don't know. I know people who only follow people they know on Facebook, like not, and I mean follow, I don't mean friend. And I'm like, that's weird because now Facebook is like my everything -ness. I follow news agencies and like, I'm not getting my news from other people on Facebook. I'm getting my news straight from news on Facebook. You know, like it's how I keep up with what's going on. And I feel weird about it because now I'm going to piss off Zuck too. Cause I also don't like Facebook, but it's like the only thing that's left. Cause Google keeps killing all of my favorite products. And like reverting back from inbox. That was a bad move too. Inbox was amazing. Sorry, I'm just generally angry with Google right now. They keep killing all of my favorite stuff. <laughs> Guess what, everyone? This is actually a Gloomhaven video. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play Gloomhaven now that we've made everybody in the tech world angry. That isn't going to watch this because why would they? Well, at this point, I'm yeah. just throwing them on YouTube to archive for our own purposes. Our own. So we can remember what we did. 
just so you know when we have grandkids or whatever we can say hey you can go and learn a little bit about our lives by watching these videos <laughs> <laughs> seriously somebody in like 20 years is going to write a dissertation on this obscure piece of like two people during a pandemic tried to play an rpg board game across the ocean there's a dissertation here i feel there's a lot of people doing it i mean it's not just us um yeah. and some of them are probably much more charismatic than we are <laughs> but uh hey i'm charismatic Sure. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you were supposed to say yes. We are wonderfully charismatic. Yeah, I think we are. But I also think that there are definitely people out there who are more charismatic than we are. <laughs> That's true. But are they playing Gloomhaven? I don't know. Well, so well, so we could be doing like we could be doing a lot more stuff, right? We could be doing video overlays and like, you know, editing. Yeah, but that would require more effort. Yeah, exactly. Like if we actually cared and we wanted viewers and everything, we we would cut this and like, you know, actually edit the video and everything. Yeah, but that's not really why we're doing this. Yeah. Unless Gloomhaven wants to sponsor us. Yeah, right. They're kickstarting still. They're not they're not to that level. They're not to that level. What is the actual company? I'm gonna close this door by the way, because I don't know if it's distracting for you, but a whole bunch of craziness is happening in the front of my house. So hold on. Hmm. There we go. Now it sounds less like there's a circus in the front half of my house. Good. Um, what's our current prosperity level? Three, I think. Let me okay. Double check. Yes, our prosperity level is three, but we're really close to four, if I remember correctly. Okay. <laughs> we have two more check marks to get to get to four. All right. Um, like I haven't been doing unlocks and stuff like that on the app. I'm just sort of been leaving that up to you. I suppose I should I should just go through everything, all the scenarios that we've done, and just like unlock everything on the app. Um, I have it in the campaign tracker app, not in the app that you're using. Um, I use that just for the combat because the combat is clunky on the campaign tracker. Like I can't figure out what it's doing. Yeah. Um, but the campaign tracker lets me track all of the other stuff a lot more easily. So I'm just using that and it updates the map for me and everything, which is cool. See, there's a map. Nice. I don't know. I do feel like there's the possibility, though, that a few of the ones that we've unlocked are actually cut off for us. But whatever. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a city event, a road event, and then we're gonna go into the uh, whatever these are ruins, deep ruins. Yes, which is a bit of a backtrack for us because it was the other way. If we didn't want to go get water breathing, it was the other way to get to the artifact. But we discovered that we are, um, we need some more achievements, I guess I would say, to do some cool stuff. So we're side questing. Mm -hmm. We're being completionists. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm ready for city event and road event. Okay, city event. Number two. That's easy to find. Okay. Um, as the daylight fades, you find yourself wandering through a half crowded market street browsing wares. Hey, over here. You turn in the direction of the voice to see a filthy vermling gesturing from a dark alley. That seems legit. Uh, yeah, you grim looking chaps. I have something you might be interested in. The vermling holds out a piece of metal covered in sludge. 
found this in the sewer. Writing on it, I don't understand, but I know it's valuable. You can have it for 10 gold. Option A, pay for the thing you never know. Option B, refuse to pay and never trust a vermling. Let's buy it. Do we have okay. 10? Um, I have, I have 19 gold. So yeah, we have 10 gold. Okay. Do you, uh, how much do you have? Hmm? I don't know. I have to like get out of the screen in order to see my gold. So. Okay. Are we going to assume you have five and I have five? Okay. I think that's a safe assumption. And if not, I will, I will take off some more. All right. We pay 10 collective gold. Um, you hand over the gold and take hold of the piece of garbage. Amidst troubling brown smears, you see a lot of meaningless scratches like we made by rats and bug. Oh well, sometimes the long shot doesn't pay off. <laughs> no effect. <laughs> and I put it back in the deck. <laughs> put it back in the deck? Damn. Yep. <laughs> so now we are the proud owners of a piece of garbage with scratches on it. Okay. So only five gold each. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I actually have 29 gold now. Ooh. Maybe I should buy a, an item. Before we hit, hit the road. Yeah, how much does armor cost? Uh, armor is pretty expensive usually, I think. But you, I feel like you do need some armor. I have way too many items. Stud leather. Disadvantage and shield for an attack. The chain mail is only 20, but you get you have to add three minus one cards. I think I have something that prevents that. Let's see. Nope. Or if you do the leather armor, the attackers gain disadvantage. Which number is chainmail? Chainmail is, where did I just see it? It is number 23. What the hell? Oh man, I, th I don't think I have this organized. We have the wrong stack. Which have we unlocked? Um, Twenty nine. Yeah, we must have. I'm missing a stack of items. No, we haven't gone past twenty eight. Oh, okay. I have the wrong stack going here then. Okay, chain mail. On the next three sources of damage from attacks targeting you, you gain shield one. I may buy this later, but not now. Okay. All right, are we ready for a road event? I think so. Number 19. Oops, don't lose the spot. Okay. 
Heading down the main road, you see an odd looking wagon in front of you. It's covered in metal bars and a number of ragged men in chains walk behind it. On either side of the wagon, you see city guards on horseback keeping a watchful eye on everything. You get closer and one of the guards calls out to you. Keep your distance. We are transporting dangerous criminals. A moment later, one of the prisoners in back slips out of his manacles and begins to sprint full speed into the tall grass. Option A, help the guards catch the escaping man, or option B, interfere with the guards to help the man escape. I feel like you are lawful good and that there's no way we would be interfering with the guards. So we're gonna help the guards escape, or help the guards catch him. Um, our reputation is, what is our reputation? I think it's 16. Yes, okay. Um, the man's speed after spending months in a jail cell is no match for your own. With the help of the guards on horseback, you quickly have him cornered and return to the wagon, gain one reputation. So we are super lawful good at this point. Is that a remove a card or put it back in a deck? Uh, remove. Rip it in half, actually. Okay. Um. All right, gained a reputation. Our price modifier is minus four at this point, so doing pretty well with the... And now we have to do these guys. Yep. So we're doing, we're at level two now, you say. Yes, because I made a level last week, so that bumped us up so that easy is now level two. Okay. Did you have any luck finding articles about uh, tutorials and stuff? I haven't looked yet, honestly. It's been a whirlwind, getting ready for Thanksgiving and everything. Okay. Jeez. Oh, I'm definitely doing this one. Although I'm sad about it. <laughs> oh, I'm about to show. Uh, I don't know if you can read it. The light is not good. People who are watching that aren't actually watching. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I'm doing this one. Kapow. All right. Uh, okay. I'm going to read the intro. Okay. Deciding to brave the dark passages beneath the Gloomhaven sewers, you light a torch and head deeper down. Ruined brickwork eventually gives way to passages made of intricate stone in a state of extreme disrepair. You see an unrecognizable runic language etched into the walls. It would be hard to read even if you knew the language because of all the fractures and missing chunks of stone. Following the passage, you eventually make your way to a larger room full of ruined machinery you cannot begin to understand. You see a door on the opposite wall, but as you step forward, a clanging sound rings out through the room, almost like an alarm. Then the machinery moves and springs to life, clearly intent on attacking any intruders. That would be you. Is that it? Oh. Special rules. Add three minus one cards to each character's attack modifier deck as a scenario effect. I have a perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we get to ignore that one. Okay. So we're supposed to occupy all of the A pressure plates simultaneously. So that's just two. So this is another one where we have to split up and stand at either ends of the dungeon. Hmm. Right. So like, I don't even need this one in here. <laughs> yeah, just the A ones. All 
Are we gonna split up then? I guess we should, huh? We have to, because we have to stand on them simultaneously. I know, but we could like go and clear out one area and then go and clear out another and then someone move back. We might not have enough turns to do that. Yeah, or um, or we could just, I could just summon a bunch of junk <laughs> and then run, <laughs> which seemed to work pretty well last week. <laughs> yeah, that did work. Summon. All we have to do is step on the pressure plates. So yeah, we could totally like run for it, right? Grab these treasure yeah. chests and then run for it. Yeah. Okay, where's our starting location? Where do you want to start? Um, I guess like the back right. Back right, like right there. Uh, not all the way over. Just like center right. Yeah. I'm gonna start up. Okay. All right, let's get these guys out here. We've got number three, number six. The stone golem has a shield. Stone golem, number two. Stone golems has a shield. Our ancient artillery has seven hit points. Range of five. Yep. Okay, we'll see how this goes. I have, ooh, man, not that one. I have 23. I have 86. Oh, wait a second, crap. <laughs> Sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. You still have 23 or do you have something else? I do still have 23. Okay. Um, what do you have? 86? 86. Okay. It's me. Then the cannons are going to attack with range five. Then you, then the golem's not going to move, but it's going to attack five. So we could just not be next to it. Yeah. Okay, I am moving four spaces onto the treasure chest and then attacking this guy for four plus zero for four. Um, and then causing a sun to appear. Number three. So he's done three hit points. Um, and this chest. Probably trap. Nope. You got a design. The old Falchion 116. That's cool. Indeed. That's pretty 
nice. It's a flaming weapon. Mm -hmm. A flaming weapon. Yep. During this um, melee attack, the target and all enemies adjacent to the target suffer a damage. Damn. <laughs> yeah, but it's a it's a one and done. So. Yeah. It's still cool. For if I ever have a melee character ever. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> the cannons uh, shoot at us. Um, they shoot closest, and, but they prefer people who uh, aren't, don't give them disadvantage. Is that true? I forgot what we had decided. Um, if they, um, they prioritize um, whoever's closest, and then disadvantage is like secondary. Okay, so like this guy's gonna shoot me. Like this guy. What will is shoot, their range? Right. They have yeah, range. Well, what is? Their, oh, okay. Yeah, I think they prioritize whoever's closest. So that guy's gonna shoot you, and this one's gonna shoot me. But he's gonna shoot me at disadvantage, and that guy's just gonna shoot you. Yep. But okay. then you're also next to him, so you're gonna get a adjacent enemy. Damage too. Because he's well, also, yeah. Just sort of like exploding. Yeah. I mis I misread that. I read that as um. Uh, adjacent enemies to the whoever they're shooting at, but whatever, I can soak it. Um. Okay. So that guy's shooting me. At minus one, so he does two. He does one point, and then two for the exploding. Okay. So three points on me. The other guy. Oh wait, I forgot to draw twice. The other one was a plus one, so it's a negative one. Um, the other guy shoots you for zero points, and he explodes, and no one's the next one. That's okay. Your All right. So for my turn. Um, shoot, I'm changing what I was gonna do, I guess. Um, maybe not. Okay, so you said that the golem's not moving. Mm -hmm. Well, darn. Well, this is useless then. But um, I'm going to attack the golem for three at range three and immobilize him. So that's super useful. So plus one. So I attacked him for four. He has a shield. So three. And he's immobilized for his turn that he's not planning to move on. And then I am summoning my two shadow wolves. I guess just like right in front of me. Okay. Um, so orange two, three, two, three, one, two. Do you have a jump ability? You do, right? I do, yes. Okay. And I get experience for that. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. And the golem just attacks the air. Um, so I was thinking you could go for that one. I'll go for this one, just because we're yeah matter. We're equidistant. <laughs> it totally does not matter. Can you deal with the traps as well as I can? Like I was just going to jump over it. Yeah, I can jump over things. Okay. Uh, all right. This is a much more mobile character than the last one.
I don't know what to do. I'm guessing this other treasure is a trap since you already got something good. I doubt it. You really think so? I really think so. Okay, um, I have 18. I have uh, 13. Okay, you first. Okay, so my two guys each are going to move up on this golem and try to hit for two. Um, so first guy goes plus one, so he hits for three. And he has pierce, so he legitimately hits for three. The other guy moves up one, does the same thing, and whiffs. So that's awesome. Um, and then I'm going to attack two on the golem as well. Um, minus one, so I don't actually hit him at all. And then I'm going to move into the doorway. So. One, two, three, four, five, because I legitimately believe that that other treasure is a trap. Because every time I try to open a treasure chest, it's a trap. <laughs> but, um, what happens when you get through here? You fight your way through the room of machinery and find corridors heading to your left and right. You hear the alarm ring from both directions. To shut it off, you may have to split up. Okay. Oh, and we need to spawn some guys, right? Yeah. Sorry, I just decided to run for it. Is that, we kind of decided that, right? Yeah, but I'm curious what's in that chest. <laughs> You are probably right, but <laughs> as a completionist, I have to know. <laughs> I just have had really bad luck with chests. I've only had one good thing come out of the chest. I always get poisoned and trapped, so I'm just gonna let it go. <laughs> if I go get it, there's, there's gonna be something in it. If you go get it, then it'll be a trap. Yeah, exactly. The rule book will magically change <laughs> right before <laughs> so one of us opens. That's true. <laughs> so <laughs> you have my blessing to go get trapped. <laughs> Five and four. Oops, I totally forgot to put what our things were. Um, okay, you've gone. Your wolves have gone. It's my turn. I am attacking. Wait a second. So, <laughs> if we're just running for it, I don't need to kill these guys. Mm -mm. No, we're just running for it, aren't we? We don't have to, I guess. Um, I just feel like it's a, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm going to move one, two, three and shield myself. Okay. And then attack this guy using up the sun, um, with a five. Plus one. Six minus one for his shield. He's dead. Nice. I mean, 
mean, I guess running for it isn't very exciting, but we'll be successful. Yeah, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> um, okay, so this golem, oh shit. <laughs> that golem's about to whack me. Yeah, he's gonna move one and whack you. Mm -hmm. Drawing a zero, so hit hit for four. That's fine. The other guys are all gonna fire at people. <laughs> <laughs> I think he shoots this wolf because we're equidistant and then, but you have the lower initiative. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So he shoots the wolf, drawing a plus zero, so two points on the wolf. Okay. He's still alive. This guy also shoots your wolf, your other wolf, drawing a plus one, so three points. Oh, that, that wolf is dead. Bye bye, Wolf. These two guys are not in range of anyone, so they don't do anything. Okay. okay. Which way am I running? What? Which way am I running? Uh, up to you. <laughs> I can I can deal with the traps. You can deal with the traps. I think it's totally up to you which way you want to go. I'm gonna okay. go. Okay. Uh, crap. I don't have the jump one. I'll have to do that next turn. Man, I was hoping they would shoot at me. Oh, well, because I have the, uh, I had the shield on, you know? Oh, yeah. If we want to cheat a little bit, um, there's undead down here and more cannons up there. So probably whoever gets where they're going first. So hold on, what's the distance? This one's slightly further away, the one in the bigger room. Um, but the cannons can shoot a far distance. So whoever gets, that should be the person who gets their second, right? So that they're not in there very long? No. I don't know. I mean, the melee guys can just um, converge pretty quickly, probably, too. That's true. But if we're just running, it's only going to be a couple more turns. This is going to be like the shortest episode ever. Because <laughs> I'm like probably three turns away from standing on a, one of them, unless there's like barricades somewhere. I'm five turns away, I think. My average movement is going to be three or so. So like if I'm doing one here to that, get there, Two, maybe three, four, five, maybe six. Okay. Maybe we should finish off this golem. <laughs> Probably should finish off the golem first then. Don't move forward so that these guys are out of range. You know? Okay. Because yeah. like, they have range five. So if you stay where you are, they can't shoot you. That's true.
You want me to give up the chest? <laughs> Ew. I'm pretty convinced that it is not one we want because there was already something good in the other one. And if there's two chests that close together, you know one's got to be a trap. It's it's just it's going to delay me by one turn basically. I think we can afford it. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. It's just I have to play my cards a little differently. Yeah. But anyways, I have 23 now. Okay, I have 92. Oh man, the golem's going first with 11. He's not attacking. He has retaliate of three and a range of three, but he's not attacking. Okay, so I should just not hit him then, I guess. I think so, yeah. Uh, the artillery have area of effect attacks range four this turn. Oh. Um. You probably want to back up. These guys can't actually shoot you now because they, if they target this thing, it'll it'll hit you. I think what I want to do is go in this corner over here because then I'm out of range of these guys. I guess right. maybe I'm not. I don't think there's a way for me to get out of range of all of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm probably going to kill one or I'm hoping I'm going to kill one. Okay. Or not kill one, but actually stun one. I'll go. Okay. I'm moving on to the chest. And then I'm stunning this guy. Um, What's in your chest? Attack of two. Two plus one is three. And he's stunned. And I'm going to see what's in that chest. Oops. I got these mixed up. Done. This is 39. Yep. <laughs> what did you do? What did you get? I got a trap. Suffer five <laughs> damage. <laughs> I told you they don't do that. <laughs> it might have been a cool item. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a room full of chests, there's always one that's trapped. <laughs> uh, it is the cannons are going. This guy is stunned. Okay. Um, this guy is shooting, I think, your wolf. Because you're equidistant, but it'll go after your minion, right? Um, yeah, I guess. Or your wolf technically has lower initiative than you do. Technically. Okay, so that guy shoots your wolf at two times. <laughs> My wolf. Two, it's two points of damage. He's super dead. Okay. Um, this guy... Oh, they're moving before you, so like... One, two, three, four. Oh, so then they might not hit me at all, huh? Well, but they will, because their area effect is like... Oh, wooded. big one. Does that area effect, like... It's not the middle that needs to be your target, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, so both of them can, can shoot this hex and hit you. You know? Yeah, that's true. Does the area effect attack, uh, affect their allies? Not unless it says it. OK, well, both these guys are shooting you then. One guy draws a minus one, so he does zero damage. You. The other guy draws a plus zero, so he does one damage. 
Okay. Pretty ineffective area of effect, actually. <laughs> yeah. That's your turn. Okay. I am. What am I doing? You could go in now, I guess, because everyone's moved. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide if it's a if it's. I think I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, so that I'm behind the golem guy. And then I'm going to summon my thorn shooter. Um, to like in front of me ish. This guy dead. That purple four. Two health, one move. Two hit for range. And then, oh, and then I'm using my stamina potion to get a couple of these guys back. That one back. And that one back. Okay. And now I'm done. Okay. Next turn. Do you um, want more cards from your discard in your hand, or did you get them all or whatever? Well, I mean, I can always use the stuff out of my discard because I don't, because I don't have a huge hand, but, um, but I'm not like, I have five in my hand, so I'm not totally without abilities right now yeah it's just nice when i can actually pull this off <laughs> yeah i don't know if i'm gonna go before you so we'll see um i have 32. i have 45. cannons have 46. Uh, they're going to immobilize us, and the golem has 83. It's going to attack all adjacent. But first, I'm going. Okay. All right, I'm doing five. One, two, three, four, five to be next to you. Okay. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be next to you because they have AOE. Whatever. Uh, and I'm going to make you recover two of your cards. For your discard. And then I'm using my healing potion to heal me back up to 13. Um, I believe that's my turn, yeah. Okay. Is it my turn now? Yes. Okay. So my thorn shooter stays put because he can shoot at things from where he is and he shoots at the golem for two and poison for three and poison so that's two and poison really oops one two and poisoned um and then i get to control him to move plus one and attack plus one with me controlling the actions um, so he, again, doesn't need to move, but he's going to attack for three. He might want uh, to move, because the golem's going to move one. Oh, and attack all adjacent? Yeah. 
Okay, so I guess maybe he moves, but he does monster. Oh, I control the actions this time. So yeah, I'll move him like one, two, further away, I guess, so that he doesn't get hit by that. Or do I want him to get hit? I don't know. I'm going to be adjacent no matter, no, I'm not. No, I don't need to move him. He's going to stay put. He's going to shoot the golem again for three, plus one for four, because the golem is poisoned, plus one more for five. And minus one for the minus shield. shield. So four. Okay, so and he's then, at five now. Yep, he's at five and poisoned. And then I'm moving five. What's the range on the... Uh, five. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm cool. One, two, three, four, five. Over next to the door, but not all the way at the door. So now that one won't target you. Right. But I'll be immobile for my next turn. <laughs> See, like, I think you should have moved him one space so that the Why? golem attacks me instead of both of us. Oh, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah, I see what you mean. Just move them one space away. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I was thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that I was gonna be far away, so it didn't matter. Right, but you don't want your vine to die. He might die anyway when this other guy attacks. Maybe. Yeah, he probably will. <laughs> um, but that prevents you from getting hit, I guess, that movement. Yeah, that's true. Unless if you want him to be, if you want you to be hit instead of him, you can move your vine guy to here. How much health does he have to? And what's the attack that it's about to do? One. It'll be okay there then. Um, he'll get hit and, and he'll get immobilized and I won't. But then I'm still like way ahead of you. Yeah. Which is problematic. Um, okay, anyways, um, the, these guys go, so like, this guy has a range of five, one, two, three, four, five, can see me, so it's going to immobilize me and shoot me for zero, but immobilize okay. That sucks. Um, this guy cannot see me. And we're not in range. Can see me and shoots me. For one point. And this guy is going to shoot at your vine. For uh, two points of damage. <laughs> he killed my mind. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You could have, well, whatever. Well, uh, now I'm not immobilized. That's true. Um, they're done. The golem is going to move one and attack me for three. Plus zero, three points. I'm at nine. And now it's not third. Okay, I am immobilized. Uh, let's see.
Oh, this is kind of sucky. Um, I have 36. I have 86. Gollum moves first. He's going to move to um, attack to range three. So he's going to move away. I guess he'll just move that way once, one space. Or do we want we want him farther away from you, right? We'll move him that way. We'll okay. move the door. Let's move him into no wait, he was right here. We'll move him right here. Where he was. Um attack me. At plus one, so three points. So I'm at six. And then pushes me two spaces. One, two. And no, he pulled. He pulls you. Oh, yeah, you're right. He pulls. So I guess there. Yeah. And immobilizes you again. Yep. That's terrible. I don't think it, I don't think it's just, I don't think it uh, makes me immobilize for more, one more turn, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because you haven't gone yet. So you were still immobilized anyway. Yep. So now I'm immobilized. I'm going to, um, Jeez. I'm going to heal myself for three points and cause a sun thing to appear. OK. And then I'm going to, um, I guess, do this. Uh, at the end of your next five turns, when the sun is not strong, generate a sun. OK. So now it's the end of the turn, but there already is a sun. But I get XP out of that. Cool. Okay. Now these guys shoot. Oh, you know what? I should have moved. He should have moved me here. Because that way this guy couldn't shoot me. <laughs> One, <two. laughs> That's yeah. totally where he told you to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So these guys can't shoot anyone. This guy shoots me for two plus two. Yautja. Four damage. Jeez. The other guy shoots you at plus zero, so two damage. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay, I'm healing myself for three. Okay. And then. I'm doing a short rest, by the way. Okay. Um, and then I'm summoning a slime spirit. Oh, this this guy did. Um. In between me and this, not on the trap, on the other. And that is my turn. Okay. And okay. Uh, I'm no longer immobilized. I'm doing a short rest at the end of that last one. OK.
Yeah, I have 29. I have 25. Okay, you go first. Okay, so first my slime attacks this cannon guy um, for one and muddle. Where was your slime? Next to you? Uh, between me and the cannon, yeah, but not on the trap. Okay. Uh, so one and muddled that cannon because he got a plus zero. What cannon is that? One and muddled. And then um, I am healing myself for three again. Three. And then um, he is attacking the cannon for two. Yeah, for two. Plus zero, so for two. Same cannon. And same cannon, yes. And that is my turn. So cannon's at four now? Yes, and he's muddled. Okay. It, it is muddled. Um, okay, my turn. I am going to move four. One, two, three, four next to this guy. And whack him for a five with advantage. Five plus one or five plus one. So six points of damage. On number four. So close. So close. It's the so golem is going to move two. Towards me, I guess. Yeah. Two spaces. Attacks the air. Uh, this guy shoots your slime for two with disadvantage. Plus one or minus one. So one point, your slime has shield, so zero points. But then adjacent enemies take two damage. Does that count as a different attack? I don't know. Is the shield against attacks or just damage in general? I think it's just against attacks. Mm. Shield bonus only applies to damage caused by an attack. So no, it doesn't work on that. It takes two so damage. Two damage. But that's what he's there for. This guy shoots me, same deal. Draws a plus zero or a minus one, so does one damage to me. And then, but then he damage exploded. exploding. Are you down to two health? Yes. That's scary. The other two guys don't shoot anything. Next round. Next round, indeed. It is a little scary. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what can we do about this? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need to whack him. <laughs> I have to whack him and heal myself is what I have to do, right? Yeah, pretty much. OK. At the end of the turn, there's a sun back because of my thing here. OK. Because Mr. Mark is thinking. 
I don't have as many cards, so there was way less thinking involved on my turn. That's one of my cards that's left that I'm going to need to play soon. Uh, I have 18. I have 55. So I got two checks so far. So you got two checks. Yep. What did they have in there? One of them was a trap. What one on? Um, a sword that was on fire. Uh, attack this guy with five and advantage. Okay. Plus zero or times two. He's dead. Super dead. Dead. Super not dead. Super dead. Um, and then I'm gonna move. Did I move in? No, I should heal myself first. Right? Yeah, because there's a bunch of guys in there. Yeah. You need to heal yourself. I'm gonna move here. <laughs> Just okay. Okay, so I can like play like play it with me. Yep. That's the money that the bad guy dropped. What is this? Yeah. Those are for all of my summons that I don't have out right now. Um. Is it my turn now? Yes. Okay. So my slam guy is going to hit this guy for one, one and muddle again. Okay. Plus two, so three and muddle. That's one, and two, three, and And then I am. How much now is A little while. Um, I, I'm going to attack for two um, at range three, that same guy. So attack two ooh, and wound and plus one. So he's dead and wounded, super dead and wounded. And then I am just attacking the air because I have nobody else to attack or anything to do to them. And now I have to take a short rest. Okay. These guys attack nothing. The golem attacks at range three and suffers two damage. He sh one, two, three, one. He shoots your slime. Okay. For six damage minus whatever slime's shield is. So my slime is dead. Okay. And then the golem himself takes two damage. Does he take three because he has poison? Or is that only for an attack? That's only for an attack. Okay. Next round. Okay, this is, might be dumb. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. I can't step on both things by myself. I won't. I won't die. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'll die.
unfortunately, oh, okay, whatever. This is going to take, it's going to be three turns. I can't do it in two. I should be able, I should be able to last that long. Okay. I have 32. I have 25. Okay, you go first. Okay. Um, I am attacking the golem for two plus zero minus one. Oh, three minus two because he's poisoned. And then I'm recovering up to four of my lost cards. Well, the golem has one hit point left. Yes, the golem only has one hit point. Point left. So if he follows me into the traps, then he's done. Yeah, he's only moving once face. But yep. Okay, that's your turn. Yep, that's my turn. I am moving two spaces. One, two. Oh, I could. Hmm. You know what? I could do it in two turns. Can I try to do that? Let me see if I can do it in two turns. I can do it in two turns. Okay, I'm going to the doorway. Oh, wait, two turns after this turn or two turns including this turn? Including this one. I can't do that. I have to do okay. three turns. I'm not going to the doorway. <laughs> I'm just going to go right to the door, but not in the okay. door. And then I'm healing myself for three. So I'm at five. Um, okay, these guys shoot nothing. The golem moves one space towards you. And now it's the next round. Okay. Oh, and I'm doing a short rest. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. I lost my healing card, which is what I was doing the short rest for. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you can take damage. So I can you take can... damage to get the healing card back. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. We will see what happens. <laughs> Next week. <laughs> same bat time, same bat place. Will Mark and Melissa be successful in standing on, on, what are they? Pads? Pressure plates. Pressure plates. Or will the pressure become too much for their plates? No, nah, this would be fine. <laughs> I amused myself at least. I need to figure out which of these cards are going to be playing. <laughs> These are all good candidates. Okay. in this room so I have um, 56 I have 92 5, 6, 9, 2 okay I'm going first uh, I'm going to move 5 okay 1 we've got okay. 
two skeletons and a whatever that is, living spirit. And it's an elite one. Yeah. Okay. One elite living spirit and two regular skeletons. Okay, so that was one, uh, two, three, four, five. Wait, let's find out what they're doing. Oh yeah. Five and two. Okay, the spirit's gonna move three, attack two, range four, muddle. Yeesh, that sucks. Um, the skeletons are gonna move three, attack two. How many cards do you have in your hand? I've got a bunch. Okay, so you have enough you could discard. Yeah, I just need to survive this round. Okay. Um, points. The spirit only has three hit points, but it has three shields. That would be, I have to do six points of damage to it in order to kill it. Same thing with the skeleton, so shield one, two points of five, mm -hmm. six points of damage to those guys. Um, who's going to hit harder? Move three. They're all going to converge on me. Mm -hmm. If I move here, this guy can't reach me. But then can you get to the, can you get to the pressure plate on the next turn still? Yeah, I, I can. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Um, one, two, three, four to here. So that was five total. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, and then I'm gonna whack this guy with a stun. Oh, good call. Two points and a stun. So three points, he has three shields, so it does no damage to him, but it does stun him. That's, that's good. Um, yeah. And then, uh, it's his turn. He loses his stun. That's it. These skeletons move. This guy moves one, two, I guess three. Doesn't matter. Oh, put him here. So I, he's not in my way. Um, the other guy moves one, two, and hits me for two damage. He whiffs for zero damage. Yay! And then these guys attack nothing. This guy moves one towards you and kills himself. And now it's your turn. Yay! Okay. So I'm going one... Now I need to actually put some guys out. What do we have? An elite cannon and another golem. Let's see. One, two, a golem. One, two, three. Okay. So this guy died. Now there's a new guy. And there's now an elite cannon. Does the cannon do something before me? No, I finished my turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah you finish your turn, and then it's going to move. And the golem. Okay. 
So then I'm, that was one, two, three, four, five into the corner. And then I'm summoning my slime spirit back again. Um, between me and them. And that's my turn. Uh, it's really hard to get both of us in the shot here. Yeah. If I pull this back a bit. OK, so then this guy is going to shoot your slime spirit for that. three points of damage, uh, plus zero, minus whatever shield he has. So minus two shield, so three points of damage? Yeah, so just one. One, yep. And then this guy is going to move towards you one. Do you want to move this? Do you want him next to the cannon or not? It doesn't really matter. I'll put him next to the cannon just to anticipate an AOE from you, which you don't have. But it'll be <laughs> <exciting>. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have my bomb out. My bomb is my AOE. <laughs> yeah. Next round, and we're probably going to win. Hopefully. Oh, is it at the end? At the end of. It just, just says our... occupy. It just says occupy all pressure plates simultaneously. So as soon as the second one of us steps on it, we win. But if. Okay. Or, or do we have to get to the end of the round? I think we win, I don't know. <laughs> but it could be that I go and then the monsters go and then you go and they may kill me before you go. So then we wouldn't be on them simultaneously unless my body counts. Well, I mean, if it were, if it were a video game dungeon, your body would totally count, but um, I think that it w if we step on both of them, the alarm subsides, and presumably, I don't know about the undead, but the golems and stuff all turn off. Okay. So, I don't know. We've had this same problem before. It doesn't say at the end of the round. It just says step on them simultaneously. Okay. Well, I have 18. I have 13. This, this sounds pretty good. You go first. OK. My slime is moving up in the golem's face and whacking him for a luxurious one and muddle. Still just one and muddle, but there's a shield. So he's just muddled. So that's cool. And then I am moving one, two onto the pressure plate. And my slime. I'm controlling my slime to um, attack for two, the golem again. And oop, and he causes a wound. So one and a wound, too, as well. I mean, minus okay. one and a wound. Because we're going out in style over here. And that's my turn. All right. I am whacking. Um... It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter who I attack. I'm going to attack this guy because he's an elite. I have advantage. I'm attacking for five. I get XP out of that. Five plus one or five times two. You're dead. Dead. And then I am moving three spaces. One, two, three. And shielding myself up. Hey. Excellent. Are we letting the rest of these guys go? I think everyone else dies. They all collapse. They all collapse. All right. I will read it. OK. 
With the last switch depressed, the alarm finally thankfully subsides. The cannon's lights go off and their guns point downward, lying dormant. The machinery sputters and dies. The cogs stop their rotation. Within a matter of seconds, the entire chamber becomes as dead, as dead as it was before, leaving you to continue to explore in peace. Heading down the narrow passage at the back of the left room, you find a corridor descends into a pool of brackish liquid. You can see a vague light in the distance under the water. A quick swim should take you further into this underground world. That's where we found the artifact. So we just went the other way around this time. Global achievement, ancient technology, and party achievement through the ruins, which I think we already had. But we get ancient technology, which is what we wanted. Yes. Oh no, we have through the trench. Now we also have through the ruins. We have double. And we have our first ancient technology, but we need like five of those. <laughs> Okay. Do, 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 do. Hooray! That was fairly easy. Well, I guess I almost died. <laughs> almost die. Um, so level two, we get eight XP at the end. And any gold you picked up is worth three. Excellent. I did not pick up any gold, but that means that I got my two check marks because I was not allowed to loot money tokens or treasure overlay tiles during the scenario, which you may have figured out when I did not want to step on that chest. Is that what was going on? No, you made perfect sense to me. I thought you were just avoiding it because you were superstitious and I totally believed it. <laughs> Well, I mean, I I am also superstitious about chests. <laughs> if there's two chests in a room, one is definitely a trap. <laughs> that is what I believe. I leveled but up and got my perk. Sweet. My perk was kill an undamaged monster with a single attack. And I did that to oh. the spirit. Yeah, he wasn't damaged. That's awesome. So part. now we're both level five? Mm hmm Sweet. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Level up now. Level five. So I get two perks. Um, mm -hmm. cards. I still have like no money though. That was the worst part about doing that one is I was like, I need money. Oh, I don't get to pick up money this time. I have 14 money, that's it, 14 gold. So that was pretty quick for us. Considering. Yeah, well, it was pretty. Who knows when? <laughs> Are you adding heal one self cards? Because I think that's a good plan for you. Yeah, I'm adding, I get two of them. And I'm also adding the ignore negative item effects because I want to get that chain meal so that I ignore that negative one. I don't know if I have an ignore negative item. No, I don't have that option. But frankly, I'm almost down to no, I'm almost down to no negative ones at all. I have, I have a, a whiff and two negative ones and that's it. Then there's some plus zeros, but you know, that's not a whiff or, I can't get rid of the whiff, but I can get rid of the other two negative one cards. It's starting to be actually like a fairly good attack modifier deck. I buy cannons. Yeah, mine's pretty good too. 
I feel like my first character, I didn't, like, my attack modifier deck was okay, I guess, but not great. But this one is, like, way better. It's reaching the point where even if I have this advantage, the worst I'm going to do is plus zero. Close. I'm close to that, anyway. This is the super exciting breaking things down portion of our YouTube video mm -hmm. for the grandkids. <laughs> Or for May, I should just download all of our YouTube videos for her so that she can watch them. <laughs> she's a Which big, she's big. What are going to do next? The 27? Uh, yes, I think so. Um, that was the Deep Ruins. Yes, yeah, so Ruinous Rift, I think. Okay. Um, which is another one that we're sort of backtracking, I think, but it's we've left the rift just sitting open all this time. Because remember, we tried to close it once before and died horribly. So we're going to try again and maybe actually close the rift. Unfortunately, hail is involved, but you know. I guess she's our penance for having gone Anakin on those kids at the beginning. We, that wasn't even us. That was the previous party. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so then it, the penance left to us by the, previous, by the previous characters who retired and laughingly ran away from Hale. <laughs> or something. They were like, ha ha, you guys deal with Hale now. And then I guess we could get back to like actually trying to win the game. Yeah. Now that it's been almost a year, what is it? Like nine months now we've been playing? Something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I guess maybe same time next week. Let me double check. Well, that one was only an hour and 45 minutes. Real short. But I don't have time to do another one because I have to go make pumpkin pie. No, no, I don't. I did not mean right now. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I can do the same time next week. OK. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. Whoa, the next oh. one only has one tile. Yeah, but it's a uh, we have to last for ten rounds. Lovely. So. <laughs>